Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with a new speed build. I'm building a graveyard today. Ooh. Yeah, graveyards are creepy as because I was looking up photos on Google Images of graveyards to kind of get some inspiration. That's what I usually do for my builds. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really creepy research right now. I'm just, I know graveyards are meant to be a peaceful place and a nice place to put someone you love to rest. I get that but I still find them creepy. That's just me. And I don't know. I'm just not into it. I'm just not into it. Uh, but anyways, I thought I would go with my creepy vibes of graveyards by making a graveyard build uh, that has a little bit more of a spooky feel. But then again, I think if you're not thinking it, thinking of it as spooky, you know, in the daytime, it's actually quite a nice lot. Uh, in the end, it turns out okay. But basically the way I'm making it creepy as is I've made like an underground, uh, I guess like a little underground house almost. It's just more like a room and it's really old and gross, but it's like hidden in a staircase in a tomb. So the idea is there's just like a creepy, creepy Sim who lives down there in the graveyard, or maybe it's just like the graveyard keeper, but I thought it could make some really interesting gameplay. Um, so yeah, I don't know, see what you guys think. But basically I wanted to start off with a nice entrance. So it's pretty grand. It's got this nice uh, columned entrance here. And of course we have the move objects cheat on because let's be honest, I cannot live without that. And the reason why I haven't centered this entrance is just because, I don't know, I just didn't want to start right bang in the middle because, you know, I wanted to achieve something different as opposed to something symmetrical. So anyways, we're putting in some big trees. I kind of thought this line of trees was quite nice to give the graveyard a little bit of privacy to create more of a world inside the graveyard than blending in with the world around it. So that allows me to do that. And also this is going to be the first tomb, which is also the tomb that has the underground secret part. <laughs> so, you know, we're just using the black columns. I do use a lot of the new expansion packs. We are building in the world of Windenburg. I think it's a 30 by 40 lot. And um, a lot of this is from the Sims 4 Get Together, which Windenburg came with. And uh, yeah, a lot of it is. A lot of it uses all of those more European based building objects and columns and leaves and wallpapers. Uh, so I was very happy to have that expansion to do this build. I think it, I think it really helped it come together. So that's good. Uh, right now I am recording at about midday uh, in Melbourne and it is a beautiful sunny day. I'm looking out my window and it's bright blue skies. The sun is shining. I got some new pot plants on the weekend, which I'm very excited about because you guys probably know, a lot of you guys know, I have a little bit of a thing where I just kill all plants that live near me. I don't know what it is. I swear it's genetics because my mum kills all the plants she owns as well. And now I'm in the same position. But you know what? I've decided to step up to, to I guess, the challenge. I will have indoor plants and they will live. Okay? They will live. And I know this is totally unrelated to the build, but I just felt like I needed to say that in order for it to happen. So hashtag pray for Deli's plants. That's all I can say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is inside the tomb. I reckon this guy in the painting, this is probably his tomb. And I've just actually used one of the Ottoman chairs to act as the tomb coffin. I'm not sure of the right terminology, but I had a bit of fun overlapping flowers here. Unfortunately, they do get deleted further into the build and I actually use a set of flowers that, or a flower object that I prefer to that. So I don't know that's one idea now that you could do in your own build, but I think what we use later on is much better, much better. And then over here, we've got some more outdoor uh, gravestone type things with big columns. There's kind of three grand sections in this graveyard or cemetery, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we've got the big tomb, we've got these two or maybe four bigger, four grand parts. Uh, so we've got the big tomb that's going to have the underground room in it. And then we have these two, uh, I guess, I don't know. What do you call them? Like half tombs, <laughs> half tomb things. Uh, but anyways, I really was tempted to drape curtains off the columns, but I was like, no. 
this is a graveyard deli. You don't add decorations and flourishes, you know, it's just not what you do. I also was thinking about using these fishing ponds, but in the end we actually build our own natural ponds, which I think works a lot better. And uh, also, uh, if you guys are wondering where all of these unique objects are coming from, I've actually used the BB dot show hidden objects cheat, which basically allows you to type into the search box debug, D-E-B-U-G, and that will bring you all the items that uh, you would usually discover or acquire through gameplay. So things like the tombstones, which you'd usually have to kill a sim to get, uh, they're sitting in there, and then we've got uh, a few extra bits and bobs like the death flower, which we do put a few death flowers in the basement down below, just because I feel like the sim there would be really creepy and they would have death flowers. I also have a cow plant to kill sims with and the magical wishing well, which came with the romantic garden stuff pack. So yeah, there is actually a lot from the romantic garden stuff pack, such as this art curved arch that we're just placing now. I've actually sized it up. And uh, this is another grand area that your sim could have their tombstone on. If you want to place uh, tombstones, you obviously can. You just have to move the existing one I put there. And uh, then they'll have a nice place uh, for your own headstone that you've found through gameplay of your beloved sim. Uh, so just move it out of the way. I don't think you can actually delete them as such. I think... Eh, I think you can, oh, actually in live mode, you can probably put it in your inventory, in your Sims inventory, then sell it. I'm assuming that's what you would do. I don't know. But this, uh, this area is just having a little bit of a fence put around it. I decided to kind of, uh, uh, I'm thinking of the word, is it segregate where you separate an area? If you segregate it, I hope I'm not saying anything weird. I think it's segregate segregate let's google that right now actually segregate seg segregate definition uh let's show set apart from the rest or from each other isolate or divide yes deli uh grammar excellent yeah so we're segregating uh the different areas or particularly yeah, we're segregating there. You know what? Let's just say we're separating the areas. We're separating the different areas to give this plot of land a little bit of, I guess, I don't know, orientation or something like that. I'm going to change the subject because I'm obviously really struggling to articulate what I'm saying. Basically, it's a flat piece of land. When you're building, it's hard. When you don't actually have one big building to build on it, it's actually hard to figure out what you're doing with the space. And this segregating <laughs> of different areas is allowing me to re... I don't know. I'm just going to quit it while I'm ahead. Damn it. Anyways, so this fountain came with a romantic garden stuff pack. And... I do like the fountain. It's fun because you can do a lot of interesting interactions with it. It's a good spot to socialize with your Sims. You can even put uh, like a bit of a cheeky substance in there to make it bubble over the edges. And, you know, why not socialize at a graveyard? I had a great idea that you could have like a goth wedding at the graveyard. So you could put a wedding arch in here. It could be a perfect wedding venue for one of your more darker sims, you know? And here we are making a natural pool. If you haven't seen this before, a great way to give the illusion of a natural pool is to kind of use that pool tool where you can randomize the shape of the pool and you just kind of do any old shape you like, change the color of the water to a more natural pool tone, and then you place rocks around it, place foliage around it, and voila, suddenly you have a beautiful natural looking pool of ponds. Yeah, just perfection, just perfection. I was actually kind of getting confused whether or not I should have made the rocks black or gray in this part. It was just a little bit difficult uh, to choose between the two. So I was like, you know what? Let's do both. This is how I justify going on a shopping spree. You know, I can't choose between two, so I may as well get both. And next minute, I am i have no money. You can do this in The Sims, but don't do it in real life. This wall here that I was building, I actually wanted to put a wall fountain on it that came with the romantic stuff the romantic stuff, no, the romantic garden stuff pack. And 
I kind of wished I had used it. Nah, it looked bad. Yeah, I made the right decision. It just looked like a random wall in the middle of nowhere and, you know, it didn't really work. So we got rid of that and uh, we do rely on a lot of trees to separate the different areas of this build as well. To segregate the different aspects of the build. <laughs> and uh, this archway, I really wanted to use this archway. I wanted to use it because it looked a little bit creepy because it's that darker color with the cascading greenery, like it's a little bit overgrown, potentially a little bit rotten. And, you know, there just wasn't a place for it. So it's better to get rid of an object rather than try and force it into the build just because you want to use it. And I also quite like these two little gravestones. I'd probably bury a Sims couple there in my gameplay, you know, I might do, uh, the, the goth, the goth parents, you know, more Tima and not Cassandra. Oh, I've had a mental blank. Not Cassandra, goth, goth. Hmm. It's gone. It's gone. But yeah, I, don't know. I like these ones. I think because there's a lot of fencing tool used and because of the different level of the fencing, it's quite nice. And I also remembered to turn off the grid because a lot of you guys get really frustrated by that grid when it's on in my speed builds. So I do hope you guys appreciate that because I've been remembering uh, a lot recently, which is good. So you can not be distracted by the grid squares. And I don't know why that was just flashing then. I don't know if this is going to export showing flashing just then, but watching this back right now, my screen was flashing. That's really weird. Uh, so apologies if that does come through the final export of the video. I'm also using these garden patches to create uh, the lengthways detail on the oh, head of the, grave, the gravestones right here. And I love putting little fences around some, changing the design of the fence around some, just because, you know, at a graveyard, uh, so many different people from different families go there and organize how their loved one is going to be buried. And so I think everyone would pick something a little bit different. You know, people would grow different flowers there. They would pay for different gravestone options. So that's why, or headstone options, that's why they're all a little bit different. And I quite enjoyed doing that. I think it, I think it works. I kind of liked making one of the tombstones, the statue of the lady's head. Thought that was a little bit funky. Uh, that would have been a classy, classy sim buried right there. Well, I'll have to tell you that. And yeah, still trying to use that archway. Deli, it's not gonna happen. Just, just stop, just stop, just put it away. <laughs> right now we do have the wishing well above ground, but in the end I thought it was a little bit funner to put it down in the hidden basements. Cause I just thought, ooh, you have to wander around a little bit to get to that magic wishing well, because that well can do some pretty cool stuff. You can wish for a child, but if the well isn't really feeling you, then that child might be a ghost, uh, like half alive, half dead, which is really cool. And yeah, I love it. I love it. And popping in some more headstones here. We needed plenty because really cemetery or graveyard has a lot of headstones. So I wanted to put in lots of them. And I quite like that statue of the sitting man in the background. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, basically we're using objects with a lot of blacks, a lot of dark grays, even the landscaping has a lot of purple flowers because it's just that little bit more darker, a little bit more gothic. And I just feel like it suits that more morbid feeling that a graveyard has. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what else is in this build? I'm thinking I might actually use it for my twins LP. Actually, probably the reason why I started this build was because I thought about doing a graveyard for my twins LP and I wasn't quite sure if it would fit into the storyline. So I'm not sure that it will make the twins LP, but we only have a few episodes left of that before it's finished. So I just kind of thought, hmm, there might be a little bit of killing off <laughs> before we finish the Let's Play because it's quite a dark Let's Play. If you've never watched one of my Let's Plays before, I do like to make them a little bit scandalous, mysterious, and I like to kill Sims. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just like 
the only part of me that's evil comes through my Sims gameplay. I don't know. But I guess that's normal. A lot of people like killing their, their Sims, so I don't feel like I'm too strange or strange. I don't know. Can you guys comment down below if you kill your Sims as well? Because I really would like to feel a little bit better about it. With these awkward uh, bits of space that you might have in a build, I find that if you just do a cluster of plants and rocks, uh, you can size some of the plants up. You know, it just kind of fills that space and um, I don't know, it just helps a lot. So we're, that's what we're doing right now. We're just filling up the little spaces and making it look more realistic, I guess, because I, don't know, I guess there's graveyards around the world that would be more grassy without as much foliage, but I wanted this one to have lots of foliage. It's a little bit overgrown. It could do with some more upkeeping, you know, uh, that's the feeling we've got in this one. And we're doing another natural lake over here just because I think it's quite common for an area to have not just one water lake area. Often where there's a lake, there might be two lakes, like another little smaller one. And I just, I don't know, I like putting it in there. It just makes the whole build look more realistic, more natural and more organic. Hmm. Speaking of organic, I need to get more dishwashing liquid because I was getting the organic dishwashing liquid and I've run out. So I need to put that on my shopping list. I might just do that now. There we go. And these little, these little seats are quite cute. Uh, you could totally get your goth teens to make out on one of these seats, have their first kiss there. I believe there is one woohoo bush. I don't think it's accessible. Oh, actually, no, I removed it because it was a little bit too vibrant. Uh, but you could put a little woohoo bush in the graveyard for your Sims who prefer, uh, let's just say, the more morbid exhibitionist uh, experience. So, you know, each to their own. And then, <laughs> I don't know. I just think this will be an interesting lot. It might just be a nice lot to put your Sims gravestones. Uh, so, you know, and of course you could lighten things up. You can change the coloring of these columns to a more white marble and change the fountain to a lighter stone. Uh, you can really go to town with this. So, um, you know, the Sims is your oyster, shall we say. You know the saying, the world is your oyster? It's the saying my dad always told me. It's yours to discover and change. We're also putting in a few uh, tall lamps or street lamps in here just to give it a few patches of light at nighttime. It will be a fun lot to visit at nighttime. And probably I want to visit during the evening or at dusk. And I would love to know how to put some ghosts in there other than having to kill off sims and put gravestones there because the gravestones that this exhaust this existing lot has those gravestones won't have ghost npcs in them they or ghosts coming out of them because they're cheated gravestones you'd ha actually have to kill off sims and gradually place them down i believe so that's kind of annoying. I wish I could just somehow in debug have an option where I place something and that will produce ghosts. Oh well. Now we are up to the last bit of the build where we're actually working on the basements. And uh, this of course comes down from the tomb upstairs. I would have liked to make it a bit more secretive, but oh well. Uh, I guess I could have placed some rocks around the top of it, but it seemed like it might look a little bit weird. But basically down here, there's a few items. Uh, basically, I wanted to make it so you could live here. And I also wanted a toilet on the lot. So there is a really dodgy toilet down here. <laughs> See that wooden toilet? Uh, you can only access that toilet through using the debug cheats. Uh, so show hidden objects on and then debug I believe you might not even need to bug and we've also got the wishing well down here so you can discover it and make all of your sims life's desires come true or be destroyed you can also uh, see that I've put a lot of overgrown areas coming through the walls just to make it look a little bit more decrepit and a little bit creepy a little bit more freaky and uh, it's lit by candelabras that hang on the wall I mean, that hang off the ceiling. 
I mean, that's just creepy in itself, if you ask me. We also have some death flowers there on the table and uh, a voodoo doll. If you feel like getting evil with that voodoo, we have a money bag too. So someone's been stashing the cash down here and a map. So I wonder what they're planning. Little uh, box of fruit over there too. They feel like a little snackaroo. Although in The Sims, that's just decor. So your Sim can't actually eat it. But I've got to say those mandarins or oranges look tasty. Wouldn't mind getting one of those. There's also a bookshelf here in case someone wanted to study some encyclopedias and a fridge. So you seem kind of eat down here. You could even lock someone down here if you locked the door of the tomb upstairs so they could just be living off um, whatever's down here. And also we have some garden tools on the wall. So maybe it is the gravekeeper's room or it was probably originally what it was used for for the graveyard keepers uh, tools and maybe someone else has found a use for this place and they're kind of squatting there. Uh, you never know. I also love the dodgy wooden bathtub. That, that's, that's nice. That's how you'd want to bathe. I feel like it would be really leaky though. <laughs> Anyways, these are the screenshots. So that's the entrance to the graveyard. These have been taken obviously at daytime. So it's looking a little bit nicer and lighter, but I did want you guys to be able to see exactly what's happening. I deliberately left some space in this area for an extra headstone. Uh, so there is room in this build to add your own. And uh, we've even got a couple of visitors there, which is quite nice. And at the moment, the lot is set as a museum. I suggest you change it to a park because when I was player testing it, uh, everyone just kept looking at the decor items and studying them. I'd rather it just be a park. So I'd suggest doing that, popping any necessary objects that's not there, just put them in the basement or, or make a room to hide them in. Uh, for the required objects and yeah so that's pretty much it and we're going to finish on an overall look of the lot but it's on the gallery if you'd like to download it under my user deliquacy all right i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world i'll speak to you soon